What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over WoW and for loops in Roblox Studio. Loops are incredibly important in Studio because they allow you to do things infinitely or a certain amount of times instead of scripting. So let's get right into that. In order to start, just for testing purposes, I'm going to add a part into the workspace and I'm going to scale this out a little bit. Now that we've got our part right here, I'm going to give it a name by clicking on it, just like this, and I'm going to call it Looping Part. So now we've got our looping part here, and I'm going to click on the plus icon to the right of that, and I'm going to add in a script. So now that we've got our script inside of our looping part, we can go ahead and run some for loop. So I'm going to start with a variable up here at the start, getting our part. It's going to say looping part will be equal to script.parent. So now I've got this looping part which is equal to our looping part inside of our workspace here, and we can create some loop. So to create a while loop, we're gonna go over this first. You first need the while part of it, and then you need a condition. So for the condition, you can either choose the true, you can choose wait, you can choose lots of other things as well. The main things you're gonna be using though are wait and true though, so we're gonna be using those. I'm gonna use true though. So now that you have your while and true, you can do do. Now any code that we put between do and end is going to repeat infinitely. So say we want our looping part to change colors. We say looping part dot brick color equals to brick color dot random every time. So this will basically go on infinitely and every time that loop repeats, it's gonna change our brick color's randomness by one different color every time. And it's important to note that if we were to run this right now, these colors would be flying by so fast we wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between them. So let's go ahead and add a weight here. It's important to add a weight inside of loops, otherwise if you have really big loops or a lot of code inside of your loops, it can really lag your game so it's important to add a weight of any time or second I'd recommend anywhere from 0.1 to 1 second entirely for here I'm going to be using 0.1 though so we get a pretty decent transmission in between our different colors here so when we click on play you can see now that my loop is going to be changing colors infinitely here if I were to stay in this game for let's say a hundred more years from now this part would still be changing colors infinitely because our while loop is still going on. So this is basically how a while loop works. We've got the while part of it. This is indicating that it's a while loop and it's gonna go on infinitely. This true thing, that is a condition. And then this do is telling us that whatever we put inside of this while loop from the end to the do part is going to repeat infinitely. That's a while loop in Roblox Studio. Let's get into the second loop that is mainly used in Roblox Studio and that is the for loop. The for loop starts out with a for just like this. It needs a starting point and a little name. For this name, it can be anything. A lot of people use I or V. A lot of other people use random letters or words like W or even Word. For this, I'm going to be using I though. And now we need a starting point. So I will be equal to 1. Now we need a comma right here. And then we need an end point for our 1 to go up to. I'm going to be doing a 10 right here, another comma, and then an increment number of how much we want it to go up every second or however long we put the weight inside of our for loop for. So I'm gonna add an increment of one and then a do right here. So this is our for loop. We've got our four at the start. We've got our starting number and name right here. We've got our end number right here in the middle and then we've got our increment number which will go up from one to 10 just like that. So now once again, just like with the while loop, anything we put in between the do and the end right here will repeat for however many our end point will go up to. So in order to test this, I'm gonna say print i, just like this. Now I'm gonna add a wait right here with one second inside of it. So now every second, our increment's gonna go up by one. So our starting point will go up to two out of 10 and it's going to print i. So it's gonna start off printing one. After a second, it'll print two. After another second, it'll print three and it'll go up until 10. Now it doesn't have to only be up. It can also go down. Say I wanted this starting number to start at 10, this number right here to start at zero, and this number to go down minus one. So you can do lots of things with these four loops. There's plenty of other things you can do with this, such as looping through parts and lots of other things, but this is just a very basic way to do a for loop. If I open up the view tab up here and go into the output, 
you can see is printing 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all the way down to zero. So that's something really cool to think about, really just to test and have fun with. Personally, my favorite thing to do with wow loops is say wow true do and a nice print here with subscribe to Rusty Silly Band right there.